All right, here we are. Andover Lanes, Andover, Minnesota. Uh, we're getting ready for the, uh, the championship game. Uh, tournament leader uh, Rob Downer versus uh, Mike Wurz. Okay, here we go again. Championship game of uh, the first championship game uh, of the uh, Andover tournament, which is our first tournament of the new season. Uh, we've got Mike Wurz against the tournament leader, Rob Downer. My goodness, very good shot. Well, Rob, Rob Downer was the tournament leader. He uh, he had a pretty good day. He had. Uh, Four games over 265. His lowest game was a 235. Mike Wurz uh, started out with a 289, and uh, he was second high qualifier. And he left the six pin. I believe Rob has, uh, I'm not certain, but uh, I think he's looking for tournament title number 10. Uh, having won nine previous. Rob was uh, our uh, player of the year for the uh, for uh, three seasons uh, prior to this past season. That he was uh, second runner-up uh, this past season. And another high ball. Looks like he needs to move uh, left a little bit. Got two high hits on each lane. We had uh, one one honor count today. Uh, uh, although the scoring the scoring was pretty good, I haven't looked, but uh, there were oh there had to be at least uh, eight or nine games of 279 or more. There were at least uh, three 289s. And that was a beauty. Uh, the top three players were uh, uh, straight shooters. Interestingly enough, uh, in, 20, in 22 years, uh, I believe this is the first tournament in which we had no left-handed players. And another good shot. So, and 
it looks like a five pin laying on the deck. So, necessitating a re rack here. All things considered, uh, uh, machine problems were few and far between today. <coughs> Thunder and lightning outside. Rob, uh, Rob needs to get striking here. And there it is, the strike. My uh, color man just showed up. He's a little bit late, but uh, Gary Ring is uh, is our color man for this this turn. Driver's tan, otherwise I'm white. <laughs> So what do you think, Gary? Three, uh, three straight shooters or the high qualifiers? Well, I guess it's a question of, of speed, speed. And, I mean, these guys are good, obviously. The straight shooters, they've done really well with it. You're right. They, in addition to being straight, they also have very good speed. And there's three in a row. It's really quite amazing watching them though, because they're very accurate. But how they carry so well with that straight shot. Yeah, that's I find that amazing also. The fact that they carry as well as they do. And the four bagger. I think their mental game is really, really strong. I know Wirtz was a softball pitcher, and he's got, he's got that accuracy. Yeah, as uh, uh, probably everybody knows, uh, he holds uh, a few Wisconsin State uh, pitch, fastball pitching records. And another strike. Uh, unfortunately for Rob, it looks like uh, he may be on the short end here if, uh, if Mike can, if no one misses. Anything can happen any time in this game. I thought that was a weak 10 uh, from the get-go, but... Their entry, entry angle is so good, they're not coming behind the hit pin. They're pretty, pretty squared up all the time. It's hard to do. And the five-bagger. They can take a shot that looks a little difficult, breaks down, and it's just like... I don't know why you guys are having problems. We're not having problems. <laughs> well, you know, they can take the lane out of play, which is... Uh... Mm -hmm. 16.33 and 16.46. Oh! Another uh, half shot. Pocket hit. Half pocket hit. You're right. Kind of like you miss it, next loses at this point. Ball pins difference. Whoever burps loses. That was a pretty good shot. <laughs> Yeah, Rob, uh, Rob can't afford not to strike. Oh, my 
goodness. Easy. He's got a six banger. Unfortunately, it took him two two frames to get lined up. Can opener. <laughs> oh. Interestingly enough, you know, uh, they both are wearing wrist devices. <laughs> Maybe it is remote control. is going to finish. Uh, obviously he needs to punch out. Looks pretty good. Alright, it's a strike. Okay, you're going into the 10th frame and Rob is still uh, 12 pins behind. We need this continuous 10th frame now like they had, had on, on the tour for a while. Uh, yeah, we might be here for a while if that were the case. Another one, so he needs uh, obviously he needs one more. Actually, this is a pretty key shot. He can strike here, it'll force Mike to double up. Perfect. What is it? What's he using? That black and red ball. It almost looks like a rumble. And he finishes with uh, the last 10. For 278. Well, now we'll see when the person has to finish and get the first strike, see if he can do it or not. Obviously, he needs the first one. All right, here goes. It looks pretty good. Oh, no. Look at that. This time, it didn't... Uh, This time it didn't pop out of the gutter, so that, uh, that's it. The best he can do is 269. He needed that first one. So Rob, uh, Rob did what he had to do. So You almost get the mentality that, well, I'm going to throw all the rest strikes, so he better do the same thing or else I'm going to win. <laughs> well, that's, that's what happened here. And there's our tournament director, fourth place finisher, uh, walking into view, George Lose. And nice match. At the same time, words.